It's coding time with Clever Coding. This is the 22nd video of the ongoing C++ series and it's been an amazing journey so far. I hope you have been enjoying as I did and it's been wonderful teaching you guys. So let's get this started with this video. So we, we discussed that the refer address of operator is used using the ampersand symbol, this one. So this has two meanings. One for that, meaning we're using reference operator for creating aliases of one data type, right? The other use for this is that you could use it to find the memory address location in your memory. So the thing is, every single thing in the computer is stored in memory, okay? And it's countable, meaning you could start the memory and it could end. It's po it is possible that it starts and it always has an end. So, but for, uh, whenever we started like declaring stuff, like I'm declaring number and I'm saying I, I declare it something like 10. Did I ever think where does it, where is it stored in the memory? For that, we could include the reference address operator and that is also the ampersand. And then when I say address of num, so basically this is read as address of num. And this address of num means that when it's executed, you're gonna see that it's gonna show me some kind of address. And this thing over here is basically a hexadecimal value. The memory is represent, the addresses are represented in binary, but more efficiently to represent them is using hexadecimal values which allow it to be more concise and it's and it allows it to be more uh, flexible so hexadecimals are used for showing your address uh, in the memory so every single data type is stored in the memory and it could be accessed using this address operator so don't be confused by this uh, two meaning form of address it could be tricky but the thing is when it's used for instance when it's used over here in some kind of c out or c in the, remember that it's always the address of operator but when it's used in assignment like over here uh when it's used over here the address operator using some kind of other variable like no so that means it's called the reference operator when it's using assignment it's called the reference operator and when it's using the console output and these other stuff it's called the address of operator so that was it with the uh, this ampersand now with let's introduce pointers pointers are the main reason why c plus plus has an edge over the other languages pointers give you the full control over the memory so a programmer could have access to every single piece of data in the memory so we want to use memory efficiently and we don't want to waste that much memory. For that, we use pointers and we could define pointer and it's like a data type, like other data types, like integers, floats, booleans, whatever it is, they're all data types and pointer is another data type. But the special, the special thing about pointers is that it stores not a value, but an address. It stores an address, something like we discussed before called the address, a hexadecimal value. It stores the address inside of that data type. So for instance, so creating a pointer, we include integer, integers and then the asterisk symbol. And then for asterisk, this means, so I say integer PTR. So over here, I'm gonna include uh, PTR and we could do it in both ways, but I, this is more conventional. You could include the asterisk somewhere over here. You could include the asterisk in the middle. It doesn't matter, but conventionally, it's like this. And it's, this is red, this asterisk symbol in, uh, indicates the pointer, okay? So basically, this is read as pointer to int, and this is the name of the pointer. So I called it PTR, you could call it whatever you want. And what I wanna do is that I wanna store the address of some kind of number. So before I make a number called 100, now i want to get us i want this pointers to store the address of this number by just console out doing console output for the number i have uh i mean address of number so by using the ampersand symbol i'm gonna get a number over here so let me just comment out this code using these two forward slashes save and when i comment out you already know that it doesn't execute so you're gonna see the address of the num num this is the zero x six f f e one c so basically note this down you're going to see this appearing for the pointer variable uh how are we going to store that address inside of this pointer object what we're going to do is that we're going to equal assign it to this address so basically address of num i cut this over here and i paste it right here 
when I paste it, I give a semicolon to this. I'm gonna remove this rest junk for this. I don't need that. And now I have this pointer, which is assigning the address of num. And when I console output the pointer, p just ptr now, you're gonna see the exact same address. So execute, compile, and run. Uh, now there's an, I forgot that semicolon at the end. Oh man, execute, compile, and run. And they're the same exact address and now it's pointing so pointers take four bytes in memory i suppose and they could uh store any kind of address whether it's an integer whether it's a float whether it's a double whether it's a boolean whatever it is it stores it in the memory so uh one dangerous thing about pointers is that we have to use them wisely they got they could be very dangerous like for instance if i just don't even assign anything and i say uh pointer to into ptr this would uh, not know which it has to be assigned some kind of address and if it doesn't assign it means it will randomly select any kind of address in the computer which is completely dangerous and we don't want that to happen so for that C++ introduce a new uh, reserve word called null pointer so we represent it using null ptr and when I uh, open up this it means that the address will be null and it could finally be assigned so when I execute this, it's, you're gonna see something called a null, zero. So the address is zero and that is safe. This is a safe thing to do, but without this, it's not safe, okay? That That is what could cause problems. Okay, so and, and other thing is that we could call it anything you want. So like float and then asterisk, and I could call it new, uh, new PTR and for this now this means that pointer to float you could call it pointer to double so now this is called pointer to double they could store a pointer value of double okay so that was with the pointer so we talked about references we talked about pointers and now we're talking about dereferencing and what is dereferencing in c plus plus basically when you create pointers you want to dereference them out and you want to check what kind of value they're basically holding so when I say address of A, I say address of num. So now this stores the address of num, this pointer called PTR. And now uh, what, basically this data type has to match whatever you're pointing to, right? If I say something like a double, it's not gonna, it's gonna give me an error. So if I say execute, compile and run, it's gonna give me an error because it's saying cannot convert into double in initialization. So you're gonna to have to have it in the same data type. So that's the safe side for that. And now when I do this, execute compile and run, uh, no errors, but nothing is gonna appear because I didn't console output anything. And now what I wanna do is dereference it. Because we know that pointers store and hold addresses of other data types, but can pointers show the values as well? We saw that pointers, uh, could show the address like the same thing as uh, if I do pointer PTR and line and I execute compile and run you're gonna see the address of that hundred data whatever that hundred value was and if I say match it with the same address of operator num and what you're you're say basically gonna see the same thing execute compile and run oh I just pressed something else rebuild all I said okay so you're gonna see the same exact thing. So that was, that's like the same thing. But what if I want the value? Like I delete that and I get the value, but I want from the pointer too. And you know, the thing is pointers do give the value and we just have to include this asterisk symbol. And this is called a dereferencing operator. So when I can include this, execute, compile and run, you're gonna see on both sides, 100, 100. Congratulations, we know how to dereference them. Now, I know it could be kind of tricky to know that asterisks also have two meanings. One asterisk we discussed earlier, and one asterisk of what we discussed, which is uh, when we create pointers like PTR, and we say pointer to int, and this asterisk indicates that it's a pointer, right? Pointing to an integer data type beforehand, like before like we created a data type like num, and it's basically pointing to that. So that's called asterisk for that case. But So I'll tell you that in assignment cases, when it's doing something such like that it's called the pointer okay but in case of console output or console input and it, you're seeing this kind of asterisk and then you're seeing ptr and that means it's dereferencing meaning 
the instead of showing the address it's going to point to the value which is stored in the data type okay so that was it with the dereferencing and referencing operators i hope you enjoyed this series and in the next video we're going to try to make some awesome projects so stay tuned guys